Hi, welcome to today's uh, video. I am in the library as you can see and I'm going to be talking you through what you can do in your local library through the library system and uh, all the other services that the libraries offer. Uh, it's become obvious to me talking to a lot of people that they don't realise exactly how much you can access for free with your CPR card through the library here in Copenhagen in Denmark. So I'm going to be talking about that, showing you some around here behind me and also showing you some of the things that you can do on the library website. Um, I would really, really love to get some more subscribers. So if you enjoy this video or you've enjoyed any of the others that I have on my channel, please do subscribe. And you can also check out my website, which is below, for tons more um, information and uh, fun stuff that you can read. So over to the rest of the video. Right, here we go, walking up to the door of the library. Now, if the library isn't open and the door doesn't open because you're here after hours, you can use your CPR card to um, get into the library. You beep it under there, you put your PIN code in, which you've already registered on the library system with. So let's go, in we go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here's the library. And uh, this is a sign that shows you uh, where the different sections are. And this library recently had this put in and they've got um, it in English as well as in Danish, which helps you out. But today I thought I'd show you about how to take a book out of the library. So let's just pick a random book from the shelves. It's great here. They, uh, the librarians spend a lot of time and they put special displays on um, depending on what, it's, uh, what the season is. As we're coming up to uh, football, um, World Cup, I believe, some you know football tournament happening maybe um, they've put a display out with uh, different books about football uh, that display over here last week was about doing different things for the summer and it's been pretty much decimated so let's head over to uh, where we're going to check out a book so it very clearly says uh, checkouts and returns now if you're in a different commune you may find that it looks a little bit different for you but I think the system is more or less the same wherever you are. Now, I didn't prepare myself and get my CPR card out, so I will do that one-handed. So you need to have your CPR card, uh, which you would have registered with the library, but I'll talk you through that later. So we're going to take a book out. Now, this is all in Danish, so for convenience, I'm going to change it to English. And we want to check a book out, so we do check out. Then you beep your CPR card. And you enter your PIN number. And there it says place your items on the tabletop. So here's my item placed on the tabletop. And it says it's checked out. It tells me the due date when I must return it to avoid getting a fine. And now I'm going to finish with an email. And I'm all done. Now fast forward three days. I finished reading my book. And I want to return it. So again, I'm going to change the language to English. And I want to check my book in. Now, you don't need your CPR card for this part of it. Again, you just put it on the tabletop and it says it's checked in. And it's telling me to put it in the Vox Vaughan, which is the adult um, carriage over here, where they'll return it to the library shelves. And I want to finish up with an email. So we're all done. Sometimes it will tell you to put it in the black box, which is this here. And that's if the book has been reserved by somebody else and it goes back into the library system. The libraries also do a lot of community events. Our library here has a newsletter. Um, it also runs a free give up smoking course. Um, they have magazines, newspapers, fast Wi-Fi in here. But they've also got this great leaflet about Copenhagen libraries. It shows you all the libraries in Copenhagen and their locations. It's also got where you can contact them, the website, telephone number, email if you want to contact the library. It explains what you can do in the library, which is a lot more than just take out books, and also what you can do online in the library. So this is part one of the video about the libraries. Part two, I'm going to talk you through the actual online system. So until then, bye for now.